Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Can you hear me, Winston? Can you hear me, Winston? I hope everybody can hear me. I am back. Oh, welcome, my tipsters, to Daily Tips with Monica. Um, start a little early because I want to get this message out here and I want everybody to be a part of this situation. Um, we're going to speak on something and we're going to be respect. Um, once we get into it, I'll let you guys know the rules. Um, but I want you guys to know that this is going, what the tips is going to be about is going to be a very, very, very serious. Good morning, Iris Fox. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, make sure if you have not connected to me, Iris Fox, I think you're new. Make sure you, you connect with me. Um, I hope everybody had a happy Saturday. Make sure you guys are liking the stream. If you want to share me out, share me out. I appreciate you so much for sharing me out. But we every every Sunday, we always got to have a message. And every day, I always have come to you guys with, um, with some realness. So I'm going to have to be real with y'all today. Um, you may not like what I say, but we all have to keep an open mind. We all have to be respectful of other people's opinions and we can respect each other and not speak against each other. So what I am going to do now is I am going to start the devotion. It is seven o'clock. It's three people in the chat. I appreciate you three people that has came at this moment. If more people come, um, mods, hold it down so I can get the message across. Thank you so much, Winston. <clears throat> what this title is, this is our daily devotion today. It says, Worship. He moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Worship is giving God the best that he has given you. Be careful what you do with the best of you, of the best you have. Whenever you get a blessing from God, give it back to him as a love gift. That Take time to meditate before God and offer the blessing back to him in a deliberate act of worship. If you hoard it for yourself, it will turn into spiritual dry rot as the manna did when it was hoarded. Uh, you can see uh, Exodus 16 and 20 if you want to know more about that. God will never allow you to keep a spiritual blessing completely to yourself. It must be given back to him so that he can make it a blessing to others. Bethel is a symbol of fellowship with God. I is the symbol of the world, and Abraham pitched his tent between the two. The lasting value of our public service for God is measured by the depth of the intimacy of our private times of fellowship and oneness with him. Rushing in and out of worship is wrong every time. There is always plenty of time to worship God. Days set apart for quiet can be a trap, detracting from the need to have daily quiet time with God. That is why we must pitch our tents where we will always have quiet times with him. However noisy our times with the world may be, there are not three levels of spiritual life, worship, waiting, and work. Yet some of us seem to jump like spiritual frogs from worship to waiting and from waiting to work. God's idea is that three, that this, this three should go together as one. They were always together in the life of our Lord and in a perfect harmony. It is a discipline that must be developed. It will not happen overnight. Um, so what I'm going to say, are you pitching your tent? Are you pitching your tent? Are you being like 
Uh oh, my mind went blank. Are you being like Abram and pitching your tent? Are you giving God all of you? Are you are you uh, or are you just giving Him what you can and you 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 stay stay in your worldliness? You have to give, like he said, if God gives you a blessing, he blesses you another day to live. Thank God for that. If that's the only thing God has done for you that day, thank God. Thank God for waking you up this morning. That's a blessing in itself because many don't get to see it. So thank God for that. Give that blessing back. If, if, if God woke you up this morning, say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Tell my, I thank God for waking me up this morning with breath in my body, healing in my body. I ain't sick. Ain't no hurt, harm, or danger came unto me. I thank God for that. Because some people are living with like that. Some people are living like that. I'm going to be real. Some people, when this says, when God gives you a blessing, when God blesses you with money, we have to give to God's house. We have to give to God's house and to God's people. Like it said, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's uh -oh. I had it right there on my head. Sometimes I go blank. Um, it's best to give than to receive. Even if you don't have much, but as long as you're giving something to God's house, as long as you're, uh, even if it's like just enough or what you got, you ain't got much, but you're going to give just enough or you're going to give your lab because you know what? God going to bless you with more. He will bless you with more if we just stay prayed up and give him all of ourselves. You ever heard of that song, I Give Myself Away? I give myself away. You ever heard of that song? I give myself away so you can use me. Give yourself away. Give yourself to God and allow him to use yourself in his life. Good morning, Anita. Good morning, Anita. Yes, I love that song too because it say, "Here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life is in Your hands. I give myself away. Come on, guys, I give myself away so You." Can you use me? Yes. Give yourself away so God can use you in a positive way. Getting your message out there. Respecting other people. That's what this. Give yourself away. Pitch your tent. Pitch your tent in God's house. Pitch your tent in your house. Giving yourself to God. Giving all of your casting all your cares to God. Give yourself away. So I hope this devotional, I really, really hope this devotional really touch somebody. If you ever want a Hey, Triplet family, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not, if uh, you want like a daily, you want a picture of this or written out daily or my daily, daily devotion or what we talked about today, I will email it to you if you ever need just to read it on your own and get your own perception of it. I can always email it to you. Just let me know. Okay, guys, so today... Today we're going to talk about on how to make yourself heard effectively. Tips on becoming an effective protester. 
I know many people, this is inspired about what's going on. Good morning, Joseph and Tramel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you guys are thumbsing up the live stream, guys. I appreciate you all for coming and supporting me. Y'all know that this is this is this is this is dear to all of us. And I just want to get this message out here. Um the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask y'all, this is not this is not to make disrespect anyone. So let's make sure we're being respectful in the chat. This is not for racism. This is not for that. We're going to make sure that we're not being a racist or speaking negative racist things. We're not going to be like that. We're going to speak the truth. We're going to speak the truth and we're going to speak it respectfully. We're not going to make, we're not going to tear down anybody. But what we're going to do is we're going to, good morning, ASMR, Dominique. What we're going to do, we're going to speak our opinions. And we're going to speak on how we feel, but we're not going to disrespect nobody. Don't disrespect nobody. Don't put nothing disrespectful in the chat. Have your opinion. No cursing. No cussing nobody out. If you have an opinion, have your opinion. But don't disrespect nobody. We all, even though, you know, black lives do matter, but other people's lives matter as well. I understand that, yes, us black people, we catch it the most. But we have to we have to be better. We have to be better. In order to do better, we got to be better. So let's make sure that all lives matter. But right now, but black lives matter, but all lives matter as well. We have to be respectful of people. We have to act respectful. We got to we got to show ourselves respectful. And what's going on in this world right now, I feel like it's 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 a disrespect a little bit. It's disrespectful, but I am not going to disrespect people. I'm just going to speak the truth. We're going to get the truth out. And then we're going to let it be what it be. All right. Can we all agree upon that? If you can't put a thumbs up in the chat. If you agree upon being respectful and not making racist remarks and things like that, please put a thumbs in the chat. Okay, so thank you guys so much for being understanding because like I want to get my message out, but I don't want my message to come across as negative or being anything no more than the truth or speaking the truth. So um, what I'm going to do now, guys, thank you all so much for putting the thumbs up in the chat. What I'm going to talk about now is tips on how to make yourself heard effectively and becoming an effective protester. First thing is educate yourself. Whatever your chosen cause is, you must understand it, it better thank anyone. Educate yourself well on the fundamentals and complexities using research and source matters from different people with diverse background perspectives. You're right, Winston. Truth is the pre pre prerequisite to progress and many protesters fall prey to ideology, beliefs, fantasism, superficial understanding, swarm mentalities, and one-sided perspective. Most things are not black and white. You will not do justice to your cause and humanity throwing up an emotional driven, uneducated first in the air, uh, fist in the air, if you don't know what you're talking about. Malcolm X once stated, I'm for the truth. I'm for the truth. Know who and uh, I'm for the truth. Know who tell us tells it. I'm for justice. No matter who tells it. I'm for justice no matter who is for or against it. I don't believe in there will be no, there will not advocate for violent protest tactics. Human creativity is, I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't believe in therefore will not advocate for violent protests and tactics. Human creativity is boundless and there are far more effective tactics. Amen. So educate yourself. Know what you're talking about. 
know what you're talking about when when the newscaster come to you or when somebody come to you and you're protesting, let them know what you're protesting about. Let them know if it is uh, project yourself very knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about what you're uh, protesting about. Don't get up there speaking, oh, well, I'm doing this, blah, 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 but you ain't making a point. You have to make a point when you're sitting there, when you're sitting there, you you um doing your protest or if you want to get your message out, make sure you're knowledgeable about it. Research it. Learn about it. And know what the cause is. Don't get up there doing, just doing it just to be doing it. Don't just be up there saying whatever. Cussing and acting a fool. We don't need to do that. We need to be effective with your mess. You have to, we have to be effective with our message if we're going to be stand for a cause. You have to be effective with your message. You have to be effective. If you're not projecting yourself like you know what you talk about, ain't nobody gonna take you serious. No one is going to take you serious. No one is going to take you serious if you out there. Talk about ye out doing a lot of cussing, doing a lot of uh, disrespectful talk and putting, well, you know how we do. We know how we do sometimes. We, and, 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 and it becomes disrespectful and then people don't want to be a part of the cause because the cause, you're not, you're not putting yourself out there in a nice, in a positive light. You just out there talking because you may. And like I said, you're acting on emotion. We got to start acting on emotion and focus on what doing the things that is right. And when we're talking and projecting ourselves, make sure we're projecting ourselves in, um, in the correct manner and speaking like you know what you're talking about. Don't be out there just talking and doing whatever. That is not going to work. It's not going to be effective. It's not going to be effective. Know what you're talking about. You can be angry and still get your point across. You still can be angry. You still can be hurt. But get your point across and speak in a way, project yourself in a way that you are educated and that you are knowledgeable about what you're talking about. Let me see here in the chat. Um, Dominique, ASM Marvin Dominique said, all I want to say is if people are going to protest, do it the right way. Right. I live here in Minnesota where it all started. People are saying justice, but yet they are breaking to black owned places. It's the, we're going to, that, that, and that is sad. Why you want to burn down, you, you want to, if, if it's Black Lives Matter, I'm going to be real. Hey, I'm going to be real. If this by Black Lives Matter, we ain't, that's not projecting that. Looting is not projecting Black Lives Matter, especially when you're tearing down your own establishments. You can't tear down your own establishments and, and think that that is putting uh, putting a, a, an effective message out there. That's not being effective if you're tearing down your own house. It's not. It's not an effective message if you're tearing down your own house. They're saying that you don't respect what you have and what you done built. So you hurting your own people. You're not hurting nobody else but your own people. Come on, people. I'm not make, trying to make anyone feel bad. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. But we're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it real, guys. We have to keep it real because if not, I, whatever well, this what's going on now will forever happen because we're not being effective when we're projecting ourselves out and trying to get our message out there. If you want to get a message out there, you got to know what you're talking about when you're out there doing what you want, doing, wanting to be a part of a cause. Uh, let's talk about it with Anita. I used to march in peaceful protest when I was young. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to march in peacefully. You don't supposed to Burn down everything. Burning down everything ain't is not is not speaking effectively. That's not showing that you're educated about it. Be like Dr. Martin Luther King, how he was nonviolent, how he was against that stuff. 
Martin Luther King was against that stuff. He stood on his word. That's what you need to do. When he did his speech in his I Have a Dream Today speech in Washington, D.C., that man was well-educated and he knew what he was talking about. And that's how we have to be. Know what you're talking about. Um, ASMR Dominique says, stealing and destroying what they work hard for and it is not fair. No, it's not fair. You work hard for whatever you have. And if somebody take it away, that is so sad just because they want to get a message out there. But it's different ways to get in a message out there without hurting your own people. And I'm not trying to direct it as black people. I'm not trying to direct it as white people. I'm just saying to people, we got to do better. Because it, 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 it's more than just black people out there too. So we have to stop. If you want to get your message out there, first thing you have to do, you have to be educated about it. Trebell and Joseph said, yes, Dominique, I watched the video where an older man cried because they destroyed his business. And he asked, what did I do? I'm just like you. They had no answer for him. Amen. Um, ASMR Dominique said, people were stealing just to sell stuff for money this weekend. We are on a curfew and it is crazy. Wow. 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 Mm, mm, mm. That's not effectively getting your message out there. That's not showing yourself educated and knowing uh, educated or going for a cause. That's not, that's just stealing. I'm going to be honest. Hey, 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 let me tell you something. You offended? You watch right now, you offended? I'm sorry. I got to keep it real. I got to tell the truth. I'm about the truth. No matter what color we are, we all God's children. We all, when we get cut, we, be, we, we bleed the same blood. But we got to keep it real with each other. Let's keep it real. Stop trying to. Uh, we need to stop being scared of stepping on each other's toes and just call a call a spade a spade. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call a spade a spade. Um. Let's talk with the Nita said. Uh, I remember marching when Dr. King and family in Alabama when I was five years old, and I don't remember any violence happening that day. Amen. We need to be more like Dr. King. We need to be more like Malcolm X. We need to speak and educate ourselves on what we know and understand about what we're talking about. Make sure that we're projecting ourselves in a positive manner, because guess what? More people will come. More people will be effective. All that we're doing is burning down crap. Is that getting the message out? Yes. And they like, man, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. But is it really getting your message out there? Or is it showing us that we're still, we're still the ones to be afraid of? That's all I'm going to say. Because look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing. Look, we're still the angry black people. I'm going to be real. We're still projecting ourselves as the angry black people. Just burning down crap. Joseph and Tremel said, I believe a lot of loot is because of the climbing people having no jobs and, and them using it as an excuse to steal. They tore Philly down, broke every store and walled on the street and took everything. Lord have mercy. Um, <clears throat> ASMR Dominique's about it with the need. I studied and educated myself on my past and never saw it neither. Yeah, amen. Joseph and Jamel said, what's going to happen two, three months from now when these owners take their insurance money and move their stores to other places and they have to live among these burnt out buildings nobody's going to fix? What's going to happen is, and I got to get back to my tip, what's going to happen is, Joseph, they ain't going to go back to the neighborhood and all the neighborhoods going to be run down and ain't nobody going to want to be a part of it. Um, Ain't nobody gonna want to be a part of it because guess what? Look how they turn. They, they, they say, look how they do to what they did to their own people. I'm gonna be real. If you don't like what I'm saying, I'm sorry, but I gotta keep it real with y'all. I'm sorry. That's just how. That's the truth, man. We have to speak on the truth, no matter if it's if I'm like this. If if, if it hurts, like if it hurts our feelings or not, it's the truth, and we have to just stand on the truth and get it out there. If we're gonna be a part of a call, we got to make sure that we know what the what we talking about. I ain't going to cuss. Okay. Shouting. Yes, Malcolm X and Iris Fox was taken out because they were too, they were too educated and, and they was a threat 
They was a threat, not to us. We gonna we ain't gonna get on that. Okay. The second thing is signage. Crafting a clever or inspirational sign poster and carrying it to a public place where people will see it and ask questions is a very organic way of spreading awareness and speaking volumes about your de dedication. Think that easy? Try your nerves by holding up a sign alone in a crowded street. You will gain a new admiration for those you may have ignored in the past. So, um, uh, putting up a sign. Hey, Penis Habit, how you doing, my love, love? Um, we are talking about how to be to effectively get your message out, um, and you know, just trying to inspire and trying to keep it real. Um, I hope that this touches somebody, someone. Um, because we do need to do better as people and treat each other right and stop burning each other's stuff down. That ain't going to work. Uh, the signage, let's hold up a sign. Make sure you guys, nine people in the chat, man, and only six lights. Let's go ahead and try to get our lights to nine, please. It's nine people in the chat. Um, holding up a sign speaks volumes. I had, y'all, I'm going to be real, I had, and it wasn't our color, it was a little white girl, she had said, justice for George Floyd, she was standing, uh, she about nine or ten, a nine or ten year old little girl, some woman had took a picture and wrote a message about it, a nine year old, ten year old little girl. She held up that sign and she was alone and she touched someone. That's how we got to be. If we're going to stand on something, it don't matter who come along with you. If you want to stand on something, if you have to be by yourself, stand on it. Stand on it. And you never know. It's going to be people that going to come along with you when you first you got to educate yourself to know what you're talking about. And then holding up that sign what that sign does, it speaks on how you feel to me. It speaks if if, if it ain't no, um, as long as it, it's having an effective message to it, it's not going to hurt anyone. And you'll be able to get your message across as something positive and people will want to stand with you. But if you sitting up there holding up a sign, F you and your mama too, that ain't going to work. Let's burn everything down. Let's burn everything down, sign. Who's going to want to stand help you? Stay? Ain't nobody going to want to stand with you. You got to learn how to effectively do things so we won't be, so we so people won't come against you and you won't be sitting out there alone. Um. Okay, Joseph and Tramiel said, yes, like the little black boy holding the sign saying, at what age do I become a threat? Okay, so who want, we're gonna stand on that? Who who want people who want to be a part of that? Because guess what? They're effectively putting their message out there. They're not sitting there. Yes, a speak, picture can speak volumes. It can really speak volumes. Thank you, Penis, for sharing me out, boo boo. It can really speak volumes on how you feel. And it makes you feel a way, and it makes you want to speak out on it. It makes you want to stand with them. They make you want to put their little message out there. So you have to know what you're talking about, educate yourself. And then when you're holding your sign up, make sure your sign is speaking something too. Like it says, no justice, no peace. Okay, I'm going to be real. No justice, no peace on a sign says... We're going to be out here doing, holding this sign up, getting our message across. But we ain't going to peacefully and nonviolent. That means we're going to stand here and put our signs up. We ain't going to fight nobody. We ain't going to disrespect the police and fight the police. We're going to stand there and hold our sign up and chant our chant and, and, and get our message across. Because we're standing on something. We want justice for this, for this wrong, for this injustice. That's how we have to be, or we'll forever be crabs in the barrel. I'm sorry. 
I got to say it. I, I didn't want to say that, but we'll forever be crabs in the barrel. Um, Tramell and Joseph said it is said that black women have to be scared for their fathers, brothers, husbands, and sons and pray when they leave the house that they come home. Amen. But we still have to effectively, if we want to stand on something, we have to effectively get our message out there. We can't be burning up stuff. We, you know what I'm saying? Just like we was against George Floyd getting murdered the way he was murdered, we have to be stand up and be against the looting. We have to stand up and be against burning your people establishment down. That's not a, an effective way of that's not an effective way of building yourself up. That's not an effective way of standing on the cause. It's not it's not an effective way on standing on the cause. Um, Monique said, Dominique, not Monique. My husband is a truck driver, and I almost cried to the point that he called in Friday. Well, you know what, Monique? Just keep praying for your husband. Um, everything gonna be all right in Minnesota. We just we have to like it. Yes, Ludy, we we have we have to pray over our husbands, our kids, and pray over our whole pray over the whole situation, asking God to heal everyone. And let the justice be served the way the justice should be served. Everybody ain't going to like how justice is served, but you have to understand, we know that the injustice is hurt, but when you sitting up here burning up down people's establishment, that's not getting your message across. Looting is not, if we're going to stand on something, you got to stand on, if George Floyd murder was wrong, but also... The looting is wrong. We have to stand on that. We have to stand and let uh, hold our people accountable. We have to hold our people accountable. If you can't hold your people accountable, then we'll forever be crabs in a barrel. I'm sorry. We just got to keep it real with one another. I would rather for somebody to keep it real with me than sit up here and, and just go along with it. I ain't going to go along with wrongness. I'm sorry. It ain't right. I ain't going to be around it. Um, so, uh oh, y'all. The next thing is shouting. Is this a tactic? You better bet your bottom dollar it is. But it must be used, we must be used sparingly and when it is appropriate. Shouting as people is only useful when the goal is to make them feel uncomfortable. But it can often lead to a very negative image. When chanting a un uh, chanting a unified message, however, is a whole new sense of inspiration and power for others and for your group. Nadesda Malstorm says, "I decided it is better to scream. Silence is the real crime against humanity." How many people y'all know that are just silent about injustices? I'm a, we're going to take it to where we live. Silent speak volumes. I guess because it, it, it don't affect you, but just because it doesn't. And I ain't talking about I ain't talking about George Floyd and all that. I, I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about that. I'm saying I'm saying by injustice this period against your own color, black on white crime, white on white crime, when you know it wasn't right. But um how many times have we not spoke against injustices and just silent? If you're silent about it, that means that you that you are not speaking the truth. You're not standing in the truth. You have to speak out no matter if 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 it's wrong, it's wrong. And we have to stand on that. You have to stand because silence speaks volumes to me. Silence speaks volumes. When you're silent about it, that means if that because it doesn't affect me, then it don't then it doesn't bother me. I can't be silent about something when when if, if it's wrong. I can't be like that. I can't be like that. Um let's talk about it with the needle said. 
these are the times when God really wants to see if we can re finally realize that all our help comes from him and he wants us to acknowledge him now. Amen, 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 amen. Penance, we have to be a good listener. So when we talk, hey, we'll listen to. And every word that comes to your out your mouth will be marked on them. Exactly. That's why I'm saying we have to educate ourselves, knowing what we talk about when we're standing up here talking. You want somebody to be a part of your cause, know, educate yourself on your cause and speak on it and be real about it. Um, and also, um, you know how we always, uh, they, they say black lives matter, black lives matter. You know what I'm saying? But so screaming and chanting not screaming and hollering, but chanting a unified message. Getting out there. I ain't talking about black lives matter. Black lives do matter. But what I'm saying is um, hold on just a second. But what I'm saying is we have to chant. If we're going to chant something, be make it, make it unified to where the message is being uh is the message is coming across positively. Make sure when you're chanting and when you're getting your message out there, you're standing up there holding your sign. You know what you're talking about. And you're being and everybody in unison with you holding up their sign and speaking on their truth and knowing that this injustice is done and we're gonna stand on it and we're gonna have. We're going to get some justice because we're sitting up here doing it peacefully, not going against each other, not burning down nothing, just standing up there, holding a sign and speaking what we know and that we need some justice. That's that, that's how you effect, effectively get your, yourself heard. That's that what makes people want to be a part of your cause when you know how to speak and not. Because uh, I was watching and I was, you know, there was, uh, I was watching some of it, you know, I said, I looked on it on Facebook, or whatever, and I seen the police officer and the, and the, um, and, and it wasn't even a black man, it was, a, it was a white man, I think. They was getting into it, they were pushing on each other and stuff like that. Because guess what? He was, uh, he was, um, he wasn't, because he was like, you don't touch me, you don't touch me. Because you have you want you are getting yourself out you putting yourself out there negatively instead of holding up your sign. The police ain't gonna bother you holding up your sign, chanting your chant, and not being aggressive. You just stand standing on your cause. That's what you have to do. You have to stand on your cause. Stand on your cause. But you don't have to do all this screaming. Just chant it and be real about it. And people will unify with you. They won't be saying, look at him acting ignorant. I have to be real. I'm, if I offend anybody, I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, the truth is the truth. What happened to Floyd was wrong. But also, looting is wrong. Burning out people, establishing, stealing, stealing stuff out the stove and selling it. That's wrong. And I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna stand, I ain't gonna stand for stuff that, that ain't right. You know, this uh, you know, so I, I have to speak my truth. I have the freedom of speech. So everybody have their right to their own opinion. So I'm giving my freedom of speech. If I need to put the little disclaimer down there in my description box, I'm gonna do that. Because I have a freedom of speech. I'm not speaking on nobody negatively, but I am speaking on the truth. Um, uh, silence and stillness is the fourth thing. We need to watch them old clips of the civil rights protesters being screamed at by the police and agitated racists practically spitting in their face or Buddhist monks smacked around by soldiers. Good morning, begging with Charlene. Um, Anita says, sometimes we have to just be still and know God is God. Amen. They aren't saying a word in protest, ironically. A nonviolent movement 
is remaining silent when your adversaries are in your face full of rage, hatred, and authority. But it can be a powerful movement and demonstration of peace and strength. Not only that, it can make the ones who are speaking to you like that seem mean and vicious, helping you to receive more support. More support. So, silence and stillness. Have you ever heard the Lord say, peace be still? So if you want peace, peace is still. Stand there on your word. Be peaceful about it. You don't have to be against one another to get your message out there. You don't have to fight back to get your message out there. Be like Martin Luther King. Be like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, arm in arm, walking peacefully. Even when people was against him, he knew that. But you're walking and you're standing on it. You're singing hymns. And you just walking, you walking, and you being peaceful about it. You ain't tearing down other people's establishments. You just walking, and you walking. And if you have to walk a mile, you walking, and you arm and arm with no matter what color it is, no matter what color, because God don't see color, so we have to just all be for each other. So put your arms, put your arms. If you for the end, just put your arms together and walk in the line and march. March for freedom. March for peace. March for George Floyd. If that's how you effectively get your message out there, and no matter who's in your face speaking negative, spit in your face. Think about it. How can, if if someone you 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 are a protester or a demonstrator and uh and um, someone that is against you spit in your face. Oh, thank you, Anita. Think about it. Somebody spitting in your face, but you ain't touched them. You want to, but you guess what? I said, this is what you want me to do. That's what you want me to do. But what you're going to do, you're going to keep marching. You're going to be effective with your cause. You want your cause to be heard. So we have to be like Martin Luther King and be nonviolent and get our message across. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to not be aggressive back to the ones that are aggressive towards you when you're trying to get your message out. But you have to, we have to think about how the civil rights activists, Martin Luther King, uh, it's so many so many Martin Luther King was the only activist. There was plenty of activists out there. Um, I know Portia Williams. Um, she, uh, her grandfather Jose Williams, he was a civil rights activist. Y'all ever heard of Selma, Selma, Alabama? How they walked across their bridge peacefully, even though the police told them they couldn't walk across that they did it peacefully. So I thank you guys. I, I got one more. And I thank you guys for being peaceful with me and respecting each other and not putting nothing disrespectful towards anyone in this chat. We ain't for that. We for we for justice for wrongdoings. That's what we're, we're for. We're for wrongdoing. We're going to speak on the truth no matter if people want to hear it or not. But we're going to speak on it because guess what? We're going to speak on it. I might change my my uh, daily tips to speak on it with my no. No, I'm not gonna change it. We're just gonna do daily tips with mine. So ASMR Dominique said, MLK protected for peace and equal rights. Yes, police are killing our people, but also our people are killing our people. Amen. As well, truly, yes. If black lives matter, black lives matter, it matter when the uh, policemen kill us, black lives matter. When we killing our own own race, we killing our own selves. We killing our own selves, robbing each other. Though I said we as people, we got to come together. We will come. We need to come together. And like I said, uh, we'll forever be crabs in a barrel. Forever be crab in a barrel. And I'm just I'm I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry if we sound a little mean, but I got to keep it real. 
We have to be like MLK. Hey, Everyday Life with the Carolyn Girls. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you for coming in. Make sure you guys are thumbs up the live as you come in. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, we have to be like Martin Luther King and all the other civil rights activists uh, walking arm in arm, protesting, demonstrating, and doing what we need to do to get your cause out there. I say we because we all are human race. We all need to get our message out there. So, oh, okay, Anita. Yes, you marching. You getting your message across. This is my next tip. This is my next tip. Nonviolent marches. What this does is a large group of people, like-minded, basically walk or march to a destination to raise awareness and show strength and show their obedience to walking on the truth. Marches can be so effective because you are showing yourself to stand on your cause and that you are not looting or burning. You are just taking a stand against an injustice. That's what marches is about. A nonviolent march is like-minded people marching to a destination. Oh, thank you, Penis. I try to inspire somebody, and, and you know what? You inspire me. And this, well, that's how I get my tips. You all in this chat inspire me when I watch y'all. Y'all inspire me on my tips every day. I watch Winston. Winston done inspired me. Anita, Everyday Life, um, the Kelly Girls, this is Charlene. All y'all, y'all inspire me. Y'all inspire me to come up with these tips because I want you, because I know that the mess y'all gonna get the message that I'm putting out there isn't gonna be nothing negative, but we're gonna get the message that we want to put out there. So, yes, nonviolent marches they are effective, and if they are peaceful, ain't nobody fighting each other, and you walking like I said, being obedient and walking in the truth, and letting them know this is an injustice that is done, and we need to effectively get the message out there that we are not going to stand for this injustice. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to do something. So this is, I just did five tips today, y'all, because I can, I can go on and on and on and on and on. This was, uh, uh, I wasn't going to speak about it, but I talked to Jamel last night. I was talking to Jamel and it just popped in my head. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, my brother, for helping me because I, I was lost on what I was going to uh, talk about today. But this is the right message for the right people. You know, so if you if you uh, run the playback, if you want to playback, um, just know that we are all God's people. And he loves each and every one of us. He don't have, like I said, he don't have a respect of a person who he loves. And he don't have a respect of a person who he blessed. So we all have to come together. If something, if injustice is done, we all have to come together and speak about the injustice and be real about it. We have to be real about it. No matter if it, if it, if no matter if people come against you or not. We have to be real about it. That's that's the whole thing. Some people don't understand. Like Some people just, oh, just because they burning it down because they did this. But at the end of the day, you know, yes, we do get tired of the situation happening, but it is another effective way to get your message out there. You want people to take you serious, you got to be serious. Martin Luther King, think about it. He got what it was in Rose Garden in, in Washington, D.C., and had a whole, did a whole message on I have a dream today that he wanted, you know, he wanted everybody to love one another. He wanted, no matter what race you are, he want, He said he had a dream that a little black girl and a little white girl hold be hand in hand with each other. You know, so if, 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 if we if we stand for anything, we if we don't stand for the right things, then we're gonna always be crabs in the barrel. 
I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. We uh, we will always be. Hold on, just a minute. We will always be crabs in the barrel, but we have to just stand on. If we want to get our word on it, we need to stand on it. Yeah, Washington Memorial. I said the Rose Garden. I'm sorry. Like, I like. look, I'm trying to get my message across, and I'm saying the wrong stuff. I'm sorry. But I, but I know he was in Washington, D.C., and he's had the, the I Had a Dream speech. So, you know, we... We have to do that, people. We have to pray, stay prayed up. We got to pray over our children. We have to pray over our brothers, our sisters, our husbands, wife. We have to pray over each other and pray no hurt, harm, or danger come to us. Um, we, we just have to know how to not be against each other. We have to, or no one would ever take us serious. We have to learn how to love each other. God is love. If you love God, then you don't, you don't, you you don't dislike, or or I can say you don't, you're not gonna mistreat your fellow man or come against your fellow man if you love God. If you love God, you would not be against your fellow man. And if, like I said, but you know what I'm saying, doing the protest or anything like that, you know, if you want to get your message out there, be effective in your message. Be effective in your message. Be effective in your message, getting your message out there in a positive manner. Um, I'm not going to stand, I'm not going to say that the looting is something that is effective because not only are you tearing down other people that you say that, hey, y'all don't come against us, we're going to come against y'all, but y'all tearing down your own color stuff. Y'all stealing from other people. Let me tell you something. Buildings can be replaced. Buildings can be replaced. Um, merchandise can be replaced. But a life can't. A life can never be replaced. So when you're going out there on a cause, Make sure you're being effective in your calls. Make sure you're being effective in your message and getting the point across that you're not going to stand for an injustice. Um, I just, I like I said, I'm not one of those people, like I'm not a yes man. I ain't never been a yes man. I ain't never been a yes man. But I can always, always, if it's something that ain't right, I will speak on it. I'll be like, that ain't right. That ain't right. I know everybody be like, you know, she she a little southern and she country, but no, I'm I am from Mississippi and this is how I talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all, we got like nine minutes left in the chat. If you guys, thank you guys so much for being uh, having an open mind and being respectful in the chat. Um, that's what it's supposed to be about. We're supposed to be respectful of other people's opinions. We're supposed to be respectful on how other people feel. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys that uh, spoke effect means that uh, I'm sorry that uh, did what I asked you guys did what I asked in keeping in this chat respectful. Oh, you're okay. Life, just play it back. It, like I said, it's always a message. It's, it's sometimes I, I, you look at it like, man, these people. I get so many people. Then the people leave the message wasn't for them people. It's for the people that's in this chat right now, because guess what? They, they are like minded, just like me. They are, are like minded, just like me. And sometimes you want to get it across thirty. You want thirty, forty people. But sometimes I'm just glad to have y'all little nine, ten people because guess what? I know my message is getting across and I am inspiring somebody, you know. So I do appreciate each and every one of you people. Okay, thank you, Baker with Charlene. Yes, replay it. And if um if um 
you want to, um, like I said, if you guys ever want, need any assistance or need to talk or anything like that, or if you want me to do a tip on a certain situation, then email me at mjjfamily2020 at gmail.com. Uh, that'll be a great way of contacting me if you want to contact me on IG. That'll be fine as well. Um, anybody else have anything else to say about what I spoke about today? I want to give y'all a personal opinion. We got a couple minutes, so if it's something that you want to say, go ahead and put it in the chat. You know what I'm saying? We will discuss it and we will just be respectful about it. We don't have to be cussing each other out to get a message to cry. We don't have to say racist, mean, vulgar things to get your message out there. You can be uh, not, you can project yourself in a manner to where you can get your message across, but it don't have to be in a negative light. Um, so, oh, so guys, I just thank y'all so much. I hope that this message. Uh, Bacon with Charlene said, I think the looting is ridiculous. I do too. Like I said, we're going to speak on George. George. We got to speak on George Floyd and the injustice of what happened to George Floyd. We got to speak on the injustice of looting. We have to speak on it. Some people don't understand and some people have said like, well, they shouldn't. I just feel like this. We, 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 I, when I look at it, what, what, uh, burning people stuff down ain't, ain't, ain't being effective. It ain't. I don't care how you put it. It ain't being effective. Only thing he's doing is causing more people to go to jail properly. Um, ASMR Dominique said, thank you so much for this. Keep speaking truth. I am going to always speak the truth. I'm going to try my best to always speak the truth. No, I'm not a perfect person. I do sin and fall short. But I'm always going to try my best to speak the truth so you guys can... Um, so we all can speak on it in the right way and we all can get a message across that is positive and out there so people can understand it. You are so welcome, Anita. Um, you are so welcome. Um, guys, uh, I do have my special guest for next this Saturday that's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all it's going to be Tramel and Joseph or Joseph or it might be Tramel. I don't know. Maybe both of them, but I did ask them. They did agree to do the daily tips with Monica on next Saturday that's coming up. So y'all look forward to that because y'all know Tramel and Joseph always, always got a message and they always, always going to keep it real. And so I didn't, and if anybody else want to, um, Want to come on there? Just email me. Email me at mjj2020 at gmail.com. Uh, make sure you guys look forward to that Saturday. I don't know what the tip's going to be yet, but I'll be inspired by something. And I'll get with Jim, Tramiel and Joseph. Um, but guys, we got like four more minutes. We got like four more minutes. Anybody have anything else to say? Um, I will be coming out with this challenge today, y'all. I just got to, I got, I just got to do it. I just got to do the challenge. So I think I'm gonna come out with this challenge today. I'm gonna try to try to do the challenge. Um. So um, we got like three more minutes. Um. I came on a little bit early. Good morning, Juliana Sando, Santos. Um, how you doing? Mom Dia. Mom Dia to you too. Oh, I know she did. She had me rolling too. <laughs> she had me rolling too. Hey, it's Barbara Dominique. But my little girl, she is so articulate. Y'all just, you know, if you if you don't know Jayla, to know Jayla is to love Jayla. You know, she has her own way of getting her own little message out. She had, yeah, she felt that. She felt that it was her job to go to daycare and eat. There's only thing she want to do. I don't know what she's going to do with school. She better be doing some work when school starts back. Um, 
because if uh, y'all watched that the last eight, uh, video that we did when I was speaking about George Floyd and things like that, um, and I said we need to stand up. My baby stood up. My baby stood up. So my baby stood up. It's ten people in the chat. Make sure you guys are liking the live. Make sure you guys are liking the live. Um, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Juliana Santos? Um, can can you can you can you uh can you uh I'm gonna have to get that. Hold on, because I need to know what she said. I'm going to get it translated right quick, guys. Hold on. We got like two minutes, so it ain't going to take me long to do this. Hold on just a minute, guys. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Yes, get, get back with me. Get back with me. Yes, she do. I'm a, um. I probably do. My baby like to eat, so I probably do. Uh, Jayla's. When we get MJ and Jay going real well, we'll be doing Jayla's. Uh, Jayla's will talk or Jayla's ASMR. She like doing ASMRs too. So I will be coming out with something with Jayla. That's my. That's my ladybug. Like she said, she ladybug. And Nathan, I don't know what we're gonna do with Nathan. We don't know what we're gonna do with Nathan. Um, once it is live, guys, like we said, we got to keep the positivity pushing. So my boy, once it is live, guys, so we're going to raid him and, and go over there. Um, I'm going to put his link in the chat. So if you guys have not connected to once it, make sure you guys are connecting. Okay, Penis. I, I just Googled it. I knew she, she said she would get back with me. Okay, as far with double D. Uh, uh, this is it's me once and yes, honey, guys. Uh, we're going to go over there. Thank you guys so much for being respectful. Thank you guys for us let's being uh, taking each other opinions and being respectful about it. So this that is Winston. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Um, tomorrow, y'all know I'm gonna have to do a premiere. So tomorrow we will. I'll be coming out with a premiere tomorrow. Monday through Friday is all the premiere. Saturday and Sunday is the line. So make sure you guys are clicking that link. I'm gonna get on out of here. Y'all have a happy Sunday.